Okay, so um, this is just an, an orientation talk uh, to those who are writing the third exams. Um, we are specialized in math here. So the math the third exam. Okay, how to prepare? Okay, so you're preparing for an exam. Um, for a third exam, meaning you want to write an exam that your friends have already written. So it's not a new exam. Okay, so you use the paper that was written as a mirror. So the written paper used as a mirror. What do we mean when we say used as a mirror? Um, well, if, if question one, if question one was based on sets, for example, if question one was based on sets, okay? So if question one was based on sets, then you know that even in the deferred, even in the deferred, question one will be based on sets. So the structure of questions does not change. What changes is, or well, maybe if it was A, intersection B, uh, union C, this may come the same way. Or you have A, intersection B, union C. Okay. Or the operations will change. Maybe they'll say A, uh, union B, uh, intersection C anything of that nature. So for as long as you understand this, okay? If you understand this, if you understand um, the written paper, then you have an easy time, okay? Uh, in the third. So it's, it's, it's not a new example. Say. So you follow the structure, whatever was there. If they, we had sets, you have sets that are side. If there are functions, you have functions that are side. You complete the square, it will be complete the square. The instruction will be similar. Very few things will change, like very few things will will be new. Most of them will be similar. So if you understand the written paper, you are sure that at least I'll clear the deferred paper. Whatever will be new, especially in the exam where they say you choose five. I mean, whatever is new, you don't choose. You only pick the five that you've already seen in the other paper. That's the advantage of sitting for deferred. You just need to be a bit smart when preparing for it. It's not about studying everything from page one, the last page. There's a way you study for a defense. Okay? So this was an illustration of question one, for example. Okay? So you go to question two, whatever was there, you check, it will act as a mirror paper. That's a good part of sitting for a defense. There's no need, the issue of saying it's very hard, what it never gets hard. Unless you memorize. If you memorize, it will be hard. But if you don't memorize, nothing will be hard. Okay? And so after that, tomorrow, the, um, tomorrow on the 17th, 17th, January, well, we will start um the preparation here
So if those who are interested, you contact. Uh, this number. Okay, so don't go. Just WhatsApp. Okay, and then, so we'll do this from 17th to, you know, the exam is on the 7th, between 7th and 12th, so we don't enter that week. So we'll do from 17th um, to, maybe show up the date here. Yeah, so from 17th, uh, to to fifth, so it's just three weeks, uh, which is very much enough. So from seventeenth, uh, okay, let me do it from here. From seventeenth, we'll do it up to fifth. Uh, three weeks of intensive uh, revisions. You will finish a paper there and you can have a sample exam. So normally, once I prepare, I also give you a sample exam to see if you are ready for the same exam. So you contact contact me early so that as we start tomorrow, you don't uh, lag behind. Because once we start, we will tap a question. So tomorrow we may finish question one or scratch it. Because remember, as we do that, we are touching more, more. So if it's about sets, we touch almost the whole set. So you may not finish a question in a day, but we'll touch the whole topic. So that uh so that's the approach. Okay, so please, if you manage to see this and you have a friend who needs it, uh kindly tag them or forward to them so that they can able to be able to see and join us. Okay. Goodbye. Happy New Year. Thank you.